On a breaking story that we've been following from Tarrant tonight, 23-year-old Farrah Bates is facing multiple charges, including manslaughter and the death of her two-year-old daughter after an autopsy showed the child had fentanyl in her system when she died in July. And we are now hearing from the police chief in Tarrant about this heartbreaking case and what happened the day the little girl was found unresponsive. It's so heartbreaking. Lauren Harkson is on your side tonight catching up on this story. What do you know about this investigation, Lauren? Well, Brittany, Steve, you can see her walking into the department right here. Our team was at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office as Farrah Bates turned herself in this afternoon. It all started back in July when the Tarrant Police Department was dispatched to the 2200 block of Old Pinson Highway. Officers say when they arrived, the two year old lacked a pulse, adding the parents said the girl was sleeping in a bed with her mother, Farrah Bates. That little girl was taken to Children's of Alabama where she died. The Jefferson County Coroner performed an autopsy and found the young girl had fentanyl within her system. Police Chief Wendell Major said the department sent off evidence from the scene to the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences back in July and have been waiting on that report ever since. A thorough, well-reasoned investigation is important because we want to find those people who have violated the law and we want to bring them before the bar of justice. We cannot do that with assumptions, guess, and hunches. Now, the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office charged Bates with reckless manslaughter and chemical endangerment of exposing a child to controlled substances. As of last check, she was still in the Jefferson County Jail with a $90,000 bond.